So I thought I'd show you this cool trick that I saw from Chivang, um, a French artist you may have heard of, um, CKI Vang, V-A-N-G. Um, so normally when you clip, uh, if you clip a curve here, and you do this, something like this shape here, when you clip the, the curve, if you do um, use this, you may get this result here where some of your mesh, because it's being clipped, is getting pushed back to here. So you're getting this kind of result, uh, which is undesirable. Um, if you try a trim curve, to do something along the same thing, you'll get a result, but you'll see that it's actually kind of falling in on itself. Um, so this cool trick that he actually had was to basically hold down, uh, go into move mode, transpose mode, uh, press control and click on the new poly group that's being created from there. I'll just hold down alt and click on reset orientation. And then holding control, we'll create a new poly group. It'll extrude a new poly group out. And we don't really care how far because we just want this half to get mirrored over to this half. So we just want to move that over far enough away. Um, I can remove the, the mask and then just hit mirror and weld. And now we've got a perfectly filled in uh, solution with no clipping on the other side. Uh, I thought it was a pretty cool trick and worth sharing. Um, after this, you can use Siri Mesher or whatever to try and clean up your mesh, make it a little bit easier to use if you're intending on doing any sculpting there, etc. As ever, hope this tip helps and please do let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions for tutorials. Thanks. Bye.